हे गायज हाउज इट गोईंग दिस इज मला देश भारद्वाज युअर चिल्ड ऑट मेडिको अँड वेलकम टू माय चॅनल एव्हरी टाइम समन हिअर्स दॅट आय मॅनेज टू क्रॅक नीट अँड सेक्युअर अँड एम बी बी एस सीट ॲट अ एज ऑफ थर्टी दे बिकम एक्स्ट्रीमली क्युरियस अँड देअर माइंड्स गेट फिल्ड विथ अ लॉड ऑफ क्वेश्चन्स अँड मेजॉरिटी ऑफ दिस टाइम्स दीज क्वेश्चन्स आर अबाउट वाय आय वॉन्ट टू बी अ डॉक्टर ॲट एज थर्टी वॉट आय वॉज डूईंग बिफोर दिस अँड हाऊ आय मॅनेज टू क्रॅक नीट वायल हॅविंग अ फुल टाईम जॉब येस अँड In today's video, I will attempt to answer these questions and in the process, I will share my NEET journey with you guys. It all started when I was age 26 and I decided to come back to India. Before that, I completed my master's degree in aerospace engineering from Delft University of Technology, which is one of the best universities for aerospace engineering in the world. After the degree, I started working in one of the um, aerospace companies in France and I worked there for three years and uh, due to some personal reasons, I had to come back to India. After I came back to India, I found a job here in Bangalore and I started my work. But quickly I started hating the job because of a lot of toxic work environment that is present here in India and I couldn't frankly take it. And I decided that I will start my own business. And while searching for what business to start, I stumbled upon the fact that photography was a booming field here in India. So I decided to utilize my skills as a good photographer and I started a company for event photography. It, it is called Smilographers and it is still working and uh, it is doing really well. I put my heart and soul and I worked hard to make a name for myself in this field. The business was going really well and I was earning handsomely every month and I was making more money than whatever I was earning as salary when I was working. And everything was good, life was chill, life was relaxed and pretty, pretty cool. But the thing is, I started feeling hollow inside. Something was unfulfilled inside me. So everything made no sense. I was completely lost. I didn't know why I was feeling this. But I realized it is because I couldn't fulfill my dreams of being a doctor. I always wanted to be a doctor. When I wrote the CET for the first time, I had got both medical and engineering seats here in Karnataka. But I chose to take engineering seat because of my brother. My younger brother died of cancer during my counseling process. He always wanted to be an aerospace engineer and I was completely lost. That time I was very fragile. I was 18 years old. I didn't know what to do. But I took up his dreams. I took up his dreams because life robbed him of his opportunity to become what he wanted. So I took up his dreams. I studied mechanical engineering from BMS College of Engineering here in Bangalore. And I studied aerospace engineering after that. And I finished his part of his dream. And once I finished fulfilling his part of the dream, I felt it was time for me to pursue mine. But once I decided to pursue my dream, there was a lot of hindrance. Frankly, the business was going really well. I had no time to do anything else. Every day I used to postpone this uh, dream further and further and further. And quite a lot of time went by like this. And suddenly there was news in the media that uh, there has been a relaxation for age to write neat. So there is no upper cap. So then I was like, okay, now is my time. Why don't I start writing neat? Even though there was this opportunity, I didn't take it up because frankly, as I told you, I had no time. I, I was completely occupied. As a customer-based business, it is always busy. You need to do a lot of things back end and front end. And frankly, I was tired all the time. I had no time to even think about all these things. But everything changed when I got COVID. I was infected in the March of 2021 and I had to be hospitalized because of a severe allergic reaction to something and I was in the ICU for five days. Yeah, yeah I was in the ICU for five days and in this five days, one of the days I was completely unconscious and then when I woke up, I promised myself if I go out alive, I will chase my dreams and I will finish fulfilling my destiny. And that was the trigger that made me want to study and crack neat. That COVID was the turning point in my life. After I came back from the hospital, even though I wanted to study, I was completely tired. I was on antivirals all the time. I didn't jump to start studying instantly. I slowly started looking at books, what is there and how to approach it. And I started to formulate a strategy. I felt that deciding to crack neat was the easy part and studying for it felt like a mountain. I felt like this because I had taken up a lot of assignments for the next five months and I had 
no time to study for anything as i told you i was co- constantly occupied with my job and as a customer related business normally the assignments used to start at like 4 in the morning and it sometimes ended at like 12 in the night and in the middle i had no time to do anything i was constantly like when you are lugging around like 3 kg 4 kg of equipment every single day and you walk like 10 kilometers every day you feel quite tired once you get home your back aches you you'll be completely drained out of energy you will not have any time or any energy to do anything so in all these things i was like completely confused as to how to approach all these things i don't i didn't know where to start it from and how to start it so i started researching strategies online and frankly when i started searching for niche strategies you have to see the results oh my god some of these strategies these people advertise out there that is ridiculous like 14 16 hours of study time i couldn't manage 16 hours if i had 16 hours in a day i would sleep so these 16 hour strategies even though i wanted to do it like couldn't even afford half of the time for it so i was like okay i am done with uh, re- researching strategies online because frankly none of these will help me anyways i have no time there is no strategy out there which says study for 2 hours and crack neat so i had to formulate my own while doing all these things i just realized that neat is just a competitive exam all it does is test your ability and preparedness it doesn't test how much you know it just tests how much you can get right that is all that is all the thing neat tests that whether you are prepared for the exam and if you are in the exam how many questions can you get it right in the given time that is all that is required and this was a major turning point so this made me realize that there is no point studying a lot of theory and applying a lot of concepts sitting there in front scribbling like anything about concepts and seeing lectures and taking 10 minutes to solve each problem which doesn't even appear in the exam this is when i was like okay this is it all i'm going to do is just study theory once and start solving questions that is what i did every day whenever i got time whenever it is like maybe downtime during the assignments when the couple are getting ready or when i'm traveling for an assignment and i have 2 hours of uh, bus travel or when i'm going in a car or something i used to just sit and solve mcqs and once i did the mcqs i used to analyze it then and there why i got wrong and what the correct answer is is all i focused about that is it when i was traveling i used to have copies of all the textbooks in my um, mobile phone and whenever i had d- downtime i used to just crawl and just revise and just start doing mcqs and uh, analyze it then and there and see the correct answer and analyze why i went wrong this is all i did because frankly i had only time for this it didn't matter where i was how much tired i was and it didn't matter whether i had food or not i made sure that i solved 200 questions every day and analyzed it that is it that is all i did and also when i was in an assignment when i was doing something and i had free time i used to have this earphones i used to plug it in and i used to listen to all this one day one chapter lectures uh, that was coming in an academy anand mani sir was uh, taking all this uh, one day one chapter uh, type of classes i used to put it on uh, 1.5x just listen to it when i am doing assignments i am clicking photos i am listening to the one day one chapter series it actually felt like a revision every day i i couldn't see the diagrams but i could just understand what the person is talking talking about and it was a revision for myself and i used to go home and just do mcqs for it and this is what i did for 4 5 months until the neat exam this is all i did and this is all i could do because i have to provide for my family and i had had no luxury to quit my job and uh, start studying for neat and i was like whatever happens i will give it my best if i get a seat well and good if i don't there is always next time after doing this for 4 5 months i wrote my neat exam and i secured 572 marks and i am quite proud of it because i studied only for 2 to 3 hours every day in non ideal conditions it was rough the 4 5 months felt like hell i didn't have some days i d- couldn't sleep some days i couldn't eat but i made sure that i reached the goal 572 oh, it is not spectacular i didn't top the country i am not in aims delhi yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter for me i cracked neat 
and this gave me an opportunity to fulfill my dreams see in the first round of kea counseling i got an amazing college which is quite close by it is like 3 kilometers from my house and it frankly takes me 5 minutes to reach college and that is amazing i i get to stay in my house and go to the college and come and i can also take care of my business in the same time instead of going staying in a hostel somewhere and doing a lot of things i'll stay at my home take care of my business and also attend college and fulfill my dreams and also earn for myself while doing this and this guys is my journey and this is what i went through to crack ne 2021 and secure an mbbs seat and i hope if someone out there is watching this still undecided whether they have to chase their dreams or not my suggestion is go for it nothing will stop you if you are convicted enough so if you guys found this video helpful please like the video and share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for such awesome content i will see you guys in the next video until then keep dreaming keep achieving